It's your boy Conservist34 and DMB Radio is coming back on May 24th. That radio station will be back for another limited summer loving run, okay? This is a hookup between the management of DMB and the band and Sirius XM for the summer, summertime. This is the second year in a row. Hey, this may be a committed relationship in a couple of years. Who knows? But we're going to talk about that today. But I'm excited. It's coming back again May 24th to September 18th. They will have DMB Radio uh, on the Sirius XM app on the different tuners that you can tune into from your car or uh, another device. Now, here is what we're going to get so far that we've been promised. We're going to get Friday night streams of, of shows. So if a show is on a Friday night, uh, I'm assuming we're going to get every Friday night show that the band plays. Now, they're not playing this Friday, but um, I'm sure for every Friday show in the tour until September 15th, we're going to get it. Last year, that was the best part of it. We're going to get some exclusive interviews and content that was the second best thing, hearing different things uh, here about the band, learning about, to me, one thing I learned last summer was how Leroy was influenced by Branford Marsalis and how he played on Sting's album, this, the album with Englishman in New York on it, I can't remember what it's called, but I love Sting and I thought it was cool how Roy was influenced by Branford Marsalis and of course, you know, your boy saw Branford first time in the pit. 2015 in Hartford, I saw Branford Marsalis sit in with the band. So cool facts. That's the second coolest thing. But what else will we get? That's really what I'm hoping to hear more about. Now, here are some of my criticisms about last time. And I'm not necessarily blaming SiriusXM. I don't know if I can blame the management. I don't know how these deals are brokered, but I do know that the band, obviously, they own the content. So they, you know, something needs to be given more to XM for additional content to be used for this longer run than even last year. So last year, the playlist sucked. I'm keeping 100. The playlist, they sucked. Okay. They were so predictable, not even like complaining about sets predictable. They just were just so like, they were over and over and over. Like you just, there was no type of, Oh, I need to listen to this playlist. Poorly put together. A lot of the same live shows they pulled music from and it just, it wasn't good. Whoever's making the playlist and also whatever the band's giving, we need to get something better done. So hopefully the, the XM has more access to the band. It seemed like there were about five or six live CDs or live shows, um, some of the live tracks and some of the standalone live releases that they were rotating over and over and over and over again. It was whack. I can make a better playlist on Apple Music or Spotify. Matter of fact, most of the time I'm going for my own stash of purchased music, Spotify or Apple Music. I have subscriptions to all those in different ways. And I, I don't subscribe to my own collection. I actually paid for it. So, you know, that's that. So I have my own collection, XM and now, and then along with Apple Music and Spotify. But most of the stuff outside of the Friday nights, I'm sorry, guys, unless I see something otherwise, I'm sticking to my the stuff I usually listen to. Still supporting XM, but still listening to the old stuff. They got to step it up. I don't know how you do it. I'm not in the room for this stuff, but I hope that DMB management is giving more. Hey, if you give, you begin to live. DMB management, we've been paying more money, okay? We pay 150. It used to be 75 for the pit. 75, 80 for the pit plus fees. Now it's 150 plus more or platinum tickets. The fan is paying more for the live show. Management needs to give more to these radio runs, okay? Give us some exclusive content. Bust out the DMB uh, Live 25 music and let it be played for XM. I own that, but hey, let some of the fans who don't have that access to that, that disc uh, or vinyl hear that stuff while they're listening to the radio, going to the beach or going to grandma's house uh, for that long drive over the river and, and through the hill and in the uh, however it, that song goes. So hopefully we get more content from the live catalog. You know, that's the biggest thing. Sirius XM does a heck of a job when they get more. Look at the Grateful Dead radio. They have all sorts of Jerry Garcia band, uh, Dead, uh, Grateful Dead, and even sometimes I think they rotate Dead and Company in as well. They have all sorts of eras of, of the Grateful Dead that they have access to. Um, all the Bruce Springsteen radio, again, more access. Even Jam On, they don't have a specific artist. Jam On radio just gives you jam bands, but jam bands give the content to Jam On. You can get files like a really cool song voted on by fans from the previous week is played um, live on the air while you're listening to Jam On. They'll let tapers 
bring get their content to jam on and you get a taper audio from last week hopefully dmb gives that type of access or just close to that type of access but the friday night streams are the biggest thing okay i love how raw and uncut those recordings are okay the best thing about dmb music is we've learned from some of the the youtube streams and the, the live friday streams they're great with no makeup on rolling out of bed not every band is like that but the mix that you hear on the YouTube live streams and on the SiriusXM streams and even the recording we got uh, from Seaville Night 1, which wasn't as modified as the live tracks. You could, it feels more raw of a sound, of raw of an audio mix uh, from, directly from the soundboard. It's better that way. DMB is better that way. So I'm very excited. We'll see what happens. I'll give my review of it. I'm going to listen to a couple hours per day of this radio just to give it a fair shake. But XM, you guys are great. Now, I unsubscribe just because I have so many other ways to get the music I like, but I'm resubscribing. I was going to resubscribe for the summer anyway because you guys do a lot of great festivals. Check out the festivals. Check out the other channels outside of DMB Radio if your world revolves around DMB because XM has some great content. It's just, again, I, te I tend to wait for the summertime, re-up, get off a little for the wintertime, re-up again, and get some more new content. So I'm excited. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for DMB management and DMB. Thank you for SiriusXM who listen to the feedback. And I know a lot of it's out of the hands. Don't blame SiriusXM. If this is not a full run channel, if this is still a hookup every summer, don't blame XM because the management side of things, DMB themselves are the ones that allow for this. They're the ones that pulled it last time. They made it limited run. The Away from the world at time in 2012-ish. They made it a limited run. The management controls this, not XM. So don't complain. You know, send your feedback to XM, but you need to put pressure on management if you want this to be full time, if you want things to be better. We're talking to you, management. If you give, you begin to live. We pay more for all these shows. All right, we pay a lot of, way too much money for these shows, but we love the band. But y'all need to give us more too with this DMB radio thing. And I appreciate you giving us these live streams, but still. Come on, bring it, bring it. We're ready. We're paying customers who are willing to subscribe. Bunch of people just resubscribed today by the comments on different forms. That's all I got for today. It's your boy, Consumvis34. Peace.